Greetings, everyone. It is I, Raging Ferret, bringing you episode five of Hogwarts Legacy. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just came up from downstairs. I had to run up the stairs, so and I'm my cardio is definitely not where it should be. Okay, so we uh, left off in the antechamber here, and. Uh, Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Yeah. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Get wrecked. Oh, it's just telling me I generate stuff. Any presents? No? Okay. Let me also. Bye. Now, if I remember right, I kind of played through this a little bit uh, on my other account, so I'm cheating slightly. But. Oh god! I wasn't ready for that. This must be the way forward, but to where? Now. Um. Yeah. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Need all the treasures. All of them. All right. Ooh, boss fight time. Okay, let's do this. Who's first? Probably these guys in the end. Levioso. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Levioso. Woo! I forgot to do that. Woohoo! Oh! Can I? Yikes. Dip. Dodge. Oh, come on. I dodged that. Alright, props to the developers for allowing you to kill them with their own guys. That was... That was pretty good. It is a book after all. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was. I feel like this took me a lot longer in my live stream.
Also gonna mute my phone. Not flashlight. Mute before I forget. Now, so, so everyone remembers, I'm storylining this one. I'm just playing the storyline. Only side quests if I go past them. Um, this is literally just to play the story. We're going to listen to all the text, and then my live stream, I'm kind of doing everything. Exploring a lot, so if you want to see that, come catch me live or watch one of the previous videos. So, it's entirely up to you guys what you watch, and if you want to watch this, but... This I'm playing for the story, my other one I'm playing for the experience, so. Keep keep in touch, that's what I'm telling you to do. Watch me. His allergies are kicking in now because of the uh, all the pollen in the air. What if we can bring that style of hat back? That'd be interesting. Wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald. Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach. Welcome. Professor Rookwood. Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. In other words, they're going to kill everyone that doesn't. Not speak to anyone about what That's bad. Here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. 
Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Running a little bit choppy for some reason. Not sure what's going on there, but everyone's wondering. It's also it's my end that's choppy for some reason. serious. Goblin working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox? No way. You just... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Okay. <laughs> What's on the agenda for quests right now? Okay. Let's see what's on the go then. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've mostly ignored Hogsmeade as 
soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Cross Ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. All right, what is... Let's go to... Well, it wants me to go to... Tell me where she is on the map, that's all it's doing. Yeah, that's Professor fine. Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in... Okay, what do we got here? Herbology class, the girl from... Uh, uh, whatever that says. So, that's going to come in time. So, I think we bust out Herbology class. We go see the girl from uh, You Got To. And then that should get done during this. Yeah. Let's start with Herbology. We'll get Herbology and Potions out of the way. Now, can I teleport there is my next question. I should be close enough. Oh. My shoulder is sore. Oh. Do you think we'll learn? There's something in there. Oh, you know what? Know I'm going to bust this out really quick. Hello. This is easy. Uh, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Revelio. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Okay. Revelio. How oh, I remember what it was. It was, uh... Hold on. I have to go to... This one. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. Yeah, I should look around in case it's nearby. It should oh, it's on the other side. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Any news about the dragon? Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Okay. The moth! Uh, I think it's that way. Nope, it's this way. What uh, before we jump into this, I'm going to go upgrade my uh, wardrobe a little bit. Alrighty, we're back. We're going to start this up. Sorry, I had to change some stuff, get some gear on. My headphone cord is being annoying. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class? 
please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my stock. Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Prof. Well done! Pretty Once quick. it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Um, this episode is going to be a bit longer Hello. than the others, by the way. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Here we are. Home of the Chinese. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Wait, wait, wait. Revelio. Okay, I didn't know that was there. Look at that. They'll trump them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. 
vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I Ugh. suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. It was a long day at work Nothing today. wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, can I actually go this way? Yeah. That'll be quicker. And with that helpful reminder as to why we if should always to... wear our dragon hide gloves, why shall I... I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. That's class. So we're gonna go do potions. Okay, go see uh, Natty, oh, and then uh, and then probably call the episode there. I know these are shorter episodes, and I'm sorry, but what do you do? I'm trying to make them enjoyable to watch. The problem. Well, I'm trying to make them enjoyable as like episodes and not like two hours long because I even have a hard time sitting there for two hours to watch a YouTube video for me 20 I like 20 to 30 minute episodes personally but someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Professor Black would I feel like 35 to 45 minutes over this would be good Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. All the time. Begin. All the time. Copious amounts. Just give me an IV. Mainline it. Let's go. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. 
Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Get out of my way. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Mm, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't idea. know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Mm, I'm not going to do it. I, I did it in my live playthrough. about collecting the ingredients he so. wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. A well -prepared ritual is as always as a few <sighs> Still gonna grab the Fooper Feather, but... Remember, precision is key. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. I'm really sad there's not more of like a like a, a prep work for this. That was one one thing that kind of got to me. It would be nice if it was uh, more hands-on to get it started. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it. Get it. Oh, hell. Dragon duck. What happened? <laughs> well I brewed an interest potion. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Oh, that's why. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwopper feather. This time, that'll be all. Interesting. So I wonder if I didn't take I the flipper feather. Enough excitement for one day. Classes to... So I wonder if I didn't take that. If he would have given me points. I am curious about that. Okay, we're going to... Okay, if I go back to Hogwarts really quick, oop, 
Wrong way. Do I have... There we go. Just to save me running out of the castle. I will say, these episodes go by quick for me. Like, 30 minutes. This has been 36 minutes. And it feels like it's been 10. So... Definitely goes by fast. See, this is the kind of stuff that I'm doing in my other playthroughs, because it's like these little... Ooh. Potato. Revelio. Oh, it's a groundskeeper's hat. Okay. Like, I know that there's the this down here that I've already kind of solved. But it's, it's more or less... Uh, also, there's the girl there that wants you to go out and dive in the river for her. And then there's the archaeologist that's being attacked over there that we're going to go do, too. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Except the ring is bugging me. Both of have inspired me to take a stand of my own. There we go. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy oh. my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Alrighty. You know what? We're going to go do this last little side quest here. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? I need to do they some... Must have come this way. I need to just need the dodges first. Because I got to do... Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge roll. Okay. And then I got to use Incendio. Which I have. Okay. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! 
life ends here. Shame. One. Two. You can't keep me here for a... Three. Think you're clever, don't you? Four. Five. Stop that. Stop that. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's go for nine. And ten. Probably didn't count, but it'll count on. I'll watch the her. light go out of your eyes. Oh, I got two more friends. Okay, Get perfect. Get over here, you exposed. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I was not with you. Potato, you'll take this student. Let me go. Oh yeah. Let's go. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Um I'm really curious if I got that quest done. I did. Nice. All right, we're going to go do this little Merlin side quest here. And then we're going to uh, right. probably call it there. I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that uh, Mallow Sweet is an important component I think she's in looking getting two different the directions. trials to work. Mallow Sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just I, arrived I feel to like test she has my a lazy theory eye. when I was so like I was rudely interrupted. Look you at see, the squirrel each over there. swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking. What if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl. 
Alrighty, everyone. That's it. That's all for this episode. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Give me some XP, lady. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. All right, everyone. That's it for that and episode. do be careful out here. Uh, I've got what I needed. I shall return to If you enjoyed it, you can always and like and subscribe. I'll never yes. say no to that. Um, if you didn't like it, well, there's a door. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode. Um, I'm going to be, it's Wednesday right now, so this will be out on Thursday. And I'm I understand you're quite the going to go play some, uh, more of this on my stream. So, you found a long lost book for uh, him. I'd hold like on, to let this guy stop talking him. really quick. Well, anyways, uh, I hope you did all enjoy the episode. Uh, this is going to be a continued series till I beat it. I'll probably do another playthrough at a later date to another house, but who knows what will happen in the future. So, uh, you all have a good day and stay weird, you weirdos.